नमस्ते इन दिस वेरी फर्स्ट लर्निंग डॉयलॉग वीडियो ऑन वेब प्रेजेंस फॉर फैकल्टी दैट इज वेबसाइट क्रिएशन बाय यूजिंग वर्ड प्रेस आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी द नीड ऑफ वेरियस ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल टू सेट अप अ सिंपल वेबसाइट फॉर टीचिंग एंड रिसर्च फैकल्टी बीइंग अ टीचिंग फैकल्टी एंड एज अ रिसर्चर वी यूज अदर्स कंटेंट्स बट एट द सेम टाइम we need, need to create our own contents for our users which are mainly students we can use this website to post our contents which could be our oers research reports notices and so on or you can use it for simply create a blog websites can broadly classify as simple and multifunctional simple websites are those which have just a few pages very simple menu and have periodic pages which are also known as blogs multifunctional websites are those which consist of much more deeper structured contents for example a main menu or page of list of publications which will consist of multiple fields like title author journal year etc which are deeper and interconnected with each other a more complex website would be departmental website in the department we have lot of people a lot of research areas and so on a still complex example is a conference website where along with information there is also an interaction from the users like registration abstract submission fee payment etc here you can pause the video can think about what is the difference between simple and multifunctional website list it in a notepad our recommendation is to use wordpress for simple website and drupal for multifunctional website both of them are open source and freely available before installation of wordpress let's understand the basic things what is wordpress wordpress is a piece of software which has become the most widely used content management system and is used setting up of blogs also as mentioned earlier it is open source it is licensed under gpl that is general public license this license lets us the users of the software use a program in many of the same ways as if it were in public domain the scripting language of the website is php that is hypertext preprocessor that help people to make web pages more interactive by allowing them to do more things a website programmed with php can have pages that are password protected there are many options to install and use wordpress you could download the code which is open source from wordpress.org you could download a package from bitnami or you could directly go on to wordpress.com not .org it's .com and set up some name which may be your name or your lab name .wordpress.com or there are other hosting sites like godaddy which can host your site there are some limitations on the storage but the setup and maintenance is also very easy the only disadvantage in this case is you are stuck to a domain called as wordpress.com and you cannot have your own domain for example you belong to a college with the domain name ladcollege.in you cannot have it as your name .ladcollege.in you have to have it as wordpress.com if you want your domain name then you will have to pay for it besides these technicalities as a teaching faculty and as a researcher we have to conceive an idea of contents of the website which we want to showcase to our users before designing a website some points have to be taken into consideration 
which would target the users of different categories. In this rubric, it is summarized how are the target users, how should be the content design, its goal, pain points, and the opportunities, which would be addressed by the by creating a website. Suppose if your student is visiting your website, his goal would be to retrieve the information and knowledge exploration. In absence of your website, he would not have been able to search for the proper resources and he would struggle with the accessibility of an expert. So, you address this as the pinpoint of the user, that is student. But due to web presence in the form of this website, they get an opportunity that they can access you and use your resources as references. They can access your profile and approach the expert. Same peers, professionals, parents and publishers will be addressed at the same time. For example, I have written varied information in discrete manner. In normal case, nobody will show interest to read such a complex text. But if I manage these contents properly, as shown in this slide, then it would be easier for the users to access it. The same thing we can achieve with the help of website. In next videos, we will learn how to create an actual WordPress site and how to manage our contents effectively. Thanks for watching.